today you're going to learn how to change your DNS settings on your iPhone and this will work on any version of iOS. So before the video starts I just want to quickly shout out a VPN I personally use on my phone. So private internet access allows you to truly browse the internet anonymously and safely. It does all this while blocking ads, trackers and malware, encrypts your Wi-Fi connection with unlimited bandwidth and it does this without storing any traffic logs so you are truly anonymous. Also it gives you the option to browse the internet from 33 different countries or from your device at once and you can use it on 5 different devices simultaneously. So all you need to do is click on the link below, download the VPN for your current device and get started. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and load up the settings application then you want to go ahead and click on Wi-Fi. Once you're here you just want to click on the Wi-Fi that you're currently connected to. Once you've done that you just want to scroll down to where it says configure DNS and click on that box. Now what you want to do, it should automatically be on manual, sorry automatic, but you want to click on manual and delete the DNS servers that are currently connected to. Once you've done that, you just want to go ahead and click add server and type in the DNS servers that you want to connect to. So I'm going to connect to Google's DNS server. There's usually two DNS numbers. So the first one for Google will be 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And you're going to add the second server, which is going to be for the second DNS digit, and that's going to be 8.8.4.4. .4. And then what you want to do is go ahead and click save, and your DNS server will be changed to the one you selected. The reason why we like to change DNS servers is because it can make our internet connection slightly quicker, and it can make it slightly more secure as well. But if you do want maximum security, the best thing to do would be to get a VPN that's compatible with all devices. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you don't have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day.